Hello everybody, welcome back to the world of me. My name is Cougar and this is another episode from the Amazon review series. Got of course another product in today and as you can see it is a, well, a small canister style vacuum cleaner. Uh, now this is model W10 or W10 and uh, as you can see here at the bottom, uh, BW uh, and that actually stands for Best Win. Uh, let's go ahead and open it up and check out the parts and see what it looks like. All right, everybody, so here we go. We've got all the parts here that came in the box. Uh, a nice assortment. Obviously, we're gonna have our basic one right here, which is uh, the, the uh, instruction manual. Um, shows you what it looks like when it's fully assembled and everything and whatnot. It, uh, you know, just all pretty basic kind of stuff, safety instructions and whatnot. Uh, so there you go there, pretty standard in that aspect. Uh, then we've got, uh, well, let's go to the small parts here. Uh, smallest part we've got are some screws and there are some uh, wall anchors here with those screws. And uh, as I understand, um, that is for this piece right here. This is basically your, your keeper um, of, your, of your parts. So your things kind of fit on there as well as a vacuum actually hangs in there and those take and screw this to the wall actually. Uh, so if you wanna have it uh, somewhere, you could put it maybe on the wall in your closet or out in the open, wherever you wanna do it. Uh, that's what you can do with this and take and hang it up. Uh, there of course, again, the parts that we've got, the simple little brush for uh, upholstery and whatnot. And then we have the, uh, the small area uh, a little extension there as well. Uh, we then also have, well, the tube, uh, which of course takes it from a large or a small short section to a longer section where you can sweep the floor. It does have this slider here. If you push it forward, it extends out to give you that extra length like it shows in the pictures there. And uh, very simple that way, uh, just up and down and uh, it of course attaches at the top of here and the other parts go just in the bottom end there. Uh, nice about this, you can of course take it and you can clean uh, up high on top of shelves or something like that. You can clean across the top of like a window ledge or something uh, around the top edge of the curtains, up in the corners of your uh, ceiling maybe, something like that. Instead of having a big bulky sweeper, uh, it's much smaller. Uh, now then you also have the basically the floor unit. It of course pivots and everything, rotates around a little bit and whatnot. Uh, and then it has two little settings here, uh, very basic. You've got uh, where it's just kind of straight across if you can see that. Uh, and that's for, gonna be for hardwood floors or ceramic, tile, whatever, uh, linoleum. Uh, and then you've got one that has those little jagged kind of lines in it. And of course, that's kind of a representation of the pile from carpet. And you just press it and it changes the shape. As you can see, it actually moves up and down a little bit when I do that. Uh, but what it does is we take it from here and uh, we've got the open area for suction and whatnot, um, the little wheels on the back. And then when you press the lever, it lets the brush come down. It also puts a little uh, sweeper kind of thing going across here as well, like a, uh, like a squeegee, essentially. Uh, so I'm guessing maybe that means when you press it down, it means this one's active, and when it's this one's up, it means the, the carpet feature is active, I'm gonna guess. Maybe it's the other way around. Um, the squeegee would make me think that it would be for the uh, the uh, hardwood floors kind of thing. Uh, but of course you can adjust it and use it whichever way you see fit, uh, whichever way works best for you. Uh, and then of course we have the canister vacuum itself. Uh, now this is already put together. Uh, it did come separately. Uh, and in that it's basically the motor and then your canister. Uh, now your canister has um, about four pieces, I believe it is here. Uh, we've got that one there and well three pieces so we've got this piece here which is the main canister which you can leave it attached you don't have to take it apart to empty it you just open it up like that uh, 
very basic and standard for canister style vacuums. You then have your uh, kind of your piece that creates the cyclonic action, basically, like you can see here, multiple ports in the top. Um, that's similar to some of the more expensive uh, ones out there, um, like the, the one with the ball or something like that. They use, I guess, similar technology or whatever. Uh, but then you've got a base filter here, which just is, uh, you know, like a stainless steel or something and a bunch of small holes to let the air flow through, but of course to block out the larger particles. And then you've got a simple small HEPA filter. Uh, so that, of course, is then going to make it so, you know, you're not getting any dirt and bacteria back up into the air uh, once you uh, once you vacuum. You're not throwing the small stuff back in the air. It's still being captured by this. Uh, when you put this in, um, I noticed this is keyed. So you've got these two little tabs right here, and they actually fit right down into this section here. There we go. So uh, there we go. And then you, of course, have the actual motor section right here. Uh, pretty standard or basic, I guess, in the design. Um, the nice thing is, is they've got kind of this pistol grip, uh, so it makes it very comfortable. You can, of course, move it around as you need to. You have a simple on-off button with the, uh, the one and the zero there. And uh, like you saw, you just take and snap it in just like that. And now we have the nice long cord uh, that's here. And uh, the cord itself, one, well, it does come with a zip tie um, cable management thing. Um, so those are really nice. Uh, and then the cord itself is, is interesting. It's, uh, it's a flat cord rather than the big thick round ones. Uh, I think part of that is because this doesn't, uh, this doesn't have a huge motor in it like some of the big ones, but because of its design, it still offers a pretty reasonable, um, amount of suction force. Uh, if I remember correctly, it was something, I believe it was 16 kilopascals of, uh, of suction force or of force uh, that it produces. So uh, it should still work fairly well, of which I think here in a little bit, we're going to go ahead and try it out somewhere. Uh, but as you can see, it's really simple where you can have it just as a small thing and kind of use it as a little hand vac. Uh, so... Uh, for those of you who remember the old days, um, I think I remember like my grandma having one, a, a dust buster or something like that, which is that kind of long one with the handle and it had the little flat end on it. Um, it was a little bit smaller maybe than this, but not by much. And it used to clean up in areas that you would use this for. Uh, you can put in the, the different pieces there and then you've got the nice long one like this obviously you can extend it out and you can there we can sit here and sweep just like you normally would um, with a standard upright uh, and then when we want to store it away you can leave all this together you can hang these two pieces off of the two little sections there and then this notch here fits right in to this notch here or, or this i say this one fits into here, I suppose. And there you go. And then that way it can actually hang up on the wall. Uh, and then you just have uh, the cord. You sit there, wrap your, wrap your piece around. It's actually long enough. You could probably attach it to uh, somewhere around in here because that is a pretty long piece, uh, longer than it needs to be to just go around this. Um, you've got an extra couple of inches or so there. So it makes it so you can uh, attach it or adjust where or how you want to hang it. Um, this would be something that's really great if you happen to have like an apartment or a, uh, if, you, if you're somebody that has like, you know, maybe you have uh, a little area above your garage or something like that, that you maybe a spare room in your garage where you don't want to sit there and lug your sweeper from the house to the, to the spare room into, you know, the up, you know, upstairs in the garage or wherever, uh, you don't want to lug that big thing around. You got something small and simple. Uh, this could be just separated out and stored in a small section just like this up on a shelf. And so it's not taking up floor space in like one of your closets or something like that. 
Uh, so it does make it um, very uh, convenient if you need uh, to save space. All right, everybody, so here we go. We don't have uh, great lighting, so I apologize for that, but here's a little demonstration. I need to sweep up these stairs. We've got some cat hair and stuff like that, and uh, there you can see the kitty. And uh, here we go. Right, that's pretty nice. Uh, that uh, pretty quiet, actually very quiet compared to most of them, uh, but it has pretty good suction. Um, the suction that I could feel through the end here was uh, was just about the same as a uh, a big full size canister one. Um, so I think this is going to be a really nice one. I think uh, I think this one will do um, for uh, great for small areas. I wouldn't want to do a big ballroom or something with it, but. Uh, but definitely for an apartment or something like that, I think this would work terrifically. Now, if you guys would like to check this out, you can go down there in the description below. Of course, there's going to be the link to this on the Amazon site. Uh, and of course, while you're down there, there are the links to the social media as well as the PayPal link. And of course, while you're down there or on your way back up, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button, hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already, as well as that bell icon. If you ring that bell, you'll know when I've got new videos coming out here on World of Me. All right, everybody. Well, that'll do it for me today. My name's Cougar. This is The World of Me, another episode from the Amazon Review Series. I'd like to wish you all a good day, and I will see you later. Bye.